hello welcome back to a quick tips and trick video I have right here two piece of micro chamber paper yes I pulled this out of a book um, I can say that this micro chamber paper probably has been in there for a couple of years how long I don't know could have been five years ten years I don't know but it has been there for a few years um, this was in a golden age book okay and I noticed that it's kind of yellowish so I pull out a fresh piece okay now hopefully this will show up on camera because you never know how uh, it will turn out but hopefully you can see the difference between these two and this pearly white fresh micro chamber piece of paper you, Hopefully you can see, I can see it with my naked eyes, but I can't tell if it will show up on camera. But as you can see, look at that. Okay, the micro chamber paper has turned, uh, I wouldn't say yellow, but it definitely has age because it has absorbed pollutants over the few years. So if you are fanatical about keeping your books uh, preserve your books to a certain level and you use micro chamber paper make sure you change out the micro chamber paper from time to time okay I, I can't say for sure how many years but I say if you have something in there for five years or longer just take it out and take a look if you have a fresh piece like this take a look for yourself if you have something that has been in there for five years to see if the color has changed like this if it has cut out a fresh piece and put it inside now as far as buying micro chamber paper I haven't looked in a long time I bought this set this big package of like a hundred page gosh a decade ago so you know if I'm sure if you google micro chamber paper or even on eBay and you probably see uh, places or people you can buy from so I can't tell you for sure what's the best place all I know is I definitely will be switching the micro chamber paper for this golden age book because look at that yeah okay that's it simple easy peasy right bye